Welcome. Um, if I want to solve, I'm going to, not solve, but I'm going to grab this parabola. Um, and the way that I'm going to use this is by finding the vertex and then picking two points to determine what my compression is. So the first thing we need to know is, you know, first of all, how am I going to find out what my vertex is? Well, we need to understand what our transformations are going to do. All right, so here's a general form, um, or actually what we call vertex form, of a parabola. And a couple things we need to know. A is going to determine how we're going to stretch or compress our graph. H is going to determine um, our shift left or right. And K is going to determine our shift up or down. So when looking at a general parabola, if I have f of x, the general graph of a parabola looks something like this where when we say the vertex, either the lowest point or the highest point, in this case, the lowest point of my parabola, is at 0, 0. Well, what happens is I have these two transformations. So that's going to shift my, um, that's going to shift my vertex. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to first determine where my new vertex is, and then I'll determine how it's going to be stretched or compressed. So this positive 3 is going to tell me I'm going to have to shift my graph three units to the left. Then this four tells me I'm going to have to shift my graph four units up. One, two, three, and four. So my new graph's vertex is now going to be at negative three, four. And, you know, when graphing a parabola, that's probably the easiest way I'd say to start off. But if you have something that has a transformation, just find its new vertex. Now once I know its new vertex, I'm going to want to pick a point to the left and to the right of the vertex to determine how far it's being how far it's being stretched or compressed. So let's pick so let's pick negative two and negative four. So now if I do f, so if I evaluate my function for f of negative four, I get two times negative four plus three squared plus four. Well, negative 4 plus 3 is negative 1. Negative 1 squared is 1. 1 times 2 is 2. 2 plus 4 is 6. So therefore, I can plot that. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Then, let's now evaluate f of negative 2. And I know the answer is going to be 6, but let's just work at it. 2 times negative 2 plus 3 squared plus 4. If you notice, inside of these are both going to give you 1. 1 squared is 1. 1 times 2 is 2. 2 plus 4 is 6. So therefore, again, I'm going to have the exact same answer. And what we notice about this is what that 2 does is that actually gives us a horizontal compression or maybe a vertical stretch. So that is how you graph a parabola when given a certain set of transformations.